Good morning. It's a little bit before 5.30 in the morning currently. Hold on, give me one second. That's better. It is officially the first weekend of summer, so we're gonna go have a typical summer weekend in Washington. And yes, come on, you're coming too. Made it to Clay Ellum. Unfortunately, it still looks a little cloudy here in Clay Ellum, but it's supposed to be sunny by later on. Like what time? One? What, dude? Here? Advantage. Dang. So the weather shifted a little bit. Should have just slept in, dude. Yeah. It's 7.30. We're here in Clay Ellum by 7.30 in the morning, and it's still cloudy, and now it's saying that the clouds won't burn off until like 1 p.m. Whereas all week it's been saying it's going to be blazing sunshine over here. That's Washington for you. You can have a weather report all the way up until the morning of, and then the morning of it just switches. But we'll make the most of it. We'll figure it out. For now, let's get some snacks. Now that school is out and the ET, it provides grocery benefits for the summer months to family. Snacks have been acquired. We got another coffee. We got some grapes. Some good old grapes. Oh, <laughs> flip. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. But the weather's still kind of cloudy, so we're probably just going to wait out this, the clouds a little bit. But uh, we got all the food at least for uh, today. Give me another grape, man. Dude, that was a... All right, again. Oh! That was right on there, dude. That's on me. Unreal. One more? Yeah. <laughs> Not on me. That was... C-team toss. All right, man. We can't... I'm gonna grapes all over my car. Have to do some jumping off these rocks, maybe. Good. Bet the water's so cold, though. The water for sure is like frigid. I just know it. This just looks freezing. I'll try not to. Yeah, let's head up the roadways. Lake called Cooper Lake. This is the beautiful Cooper Lake.
Looks like the perfect spot to launch the pad boards. That'll get your blood flowing. Pumping those up. Man. This is incredible, man. All right, powder boarding was a Failure. success. It's still uh, completely cloudy. So the weather is not doing what it said on the weather report, but trying to make the most of it. The sun will hopefully still pop out later on, but we're gonna get these packed up and we're gonna go maybe check out that swimming hole again. But if the sun doesn't come out, I don't know. That's not very pleasant to get in this freezing cold water when it's not sunny, but... Or we might just keep heading east and try to chase the sun. Because further east, it's probably a little, much, a little bit sunnier, or chances are a little bit sunnier. You guys will find out what we do as soon as we find out what we're gonna do. There's the sunshine. We decided to just continue east, go to the Columbia River right outside of Vantage. Probably just hang out in the river get some sunshine and then we have a tea time right after that at about five o'clock so it's gonna be a good little evening get some sun get some golf can't beat that we made it to the columbia river eastern washington we found the sun the sun is finally out. We're gonna chill right here for a couple hours, get some sunshine. Then we'll be heading up the hill and playing some golf in a couple hours. So it's gonna feel good, man, to get some sun on the skin. It's beautiful out here too. Look at this. I think right now it's like 92 degrees, which is outrageous. Nice little Caesar salad. and some sunshine. Doesn't get much better than that. It is currently 90 degrees. We've been in direct sunlight for yeah. about an hour now. So we're gonna hop in, I think. 
but this water right now is freezing this early in the year the columbia river is freezing cold still but we just can't take this heat anymore so we we either gotta get in or we gotta leave man <sighs> That is freezing. I just put my toes in. That is so cold. Oh my god. That is so cold. I don't know if I can get in, man. He's just going for it. Look at this guy. Feels so good though. Once you're out. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Instantly cooled off. Wow. That feels amazing actually. <laughs> Columbia River. Beautiful. We wanted to jump in to cool off real quick before we head up the hill to the golf course. It is gonna be so high on the golf course too. But hopefully, it'll still be a good time. So we're gonna get packed up here now, make our way back up to George, to the Colicum Golf Course. See you guys up there. We made it to the golf course. It is hot out here, man. But we're gonna get some golfing still, so hot one, but it should be a fun one. Let's get out on the course. All right, here we are in hole one, the beautiful Colicum Golf Course. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful first summer weekend. Here's Caleb on the tee. But that shouldn't play. You'd be able to play that. Here we go. All right, hole one. Let's go. Look at him. sit well hole one it's not looking too good we hit over the green now i got this tree in my way i gotta go up and over not looking good for hole one guys but we'll see what we can do i'm gonna give the camera to kill he's gonna film from the green side <laughs> pretty good Wow, I don't know how we got that close. Hopefully we can finish that up. And here's Caleb now to finish his hole, hole number one. Oh no! What the flip? <laughs> Alright, see if I can finish this up. We'll just tap this in. That is a crazy par for hole one, man. I'll take it all day long. Hole one is in the books. We are off. On our 18 holes here at Colicum. The rest of the way, I'm just gonna give you guys random clips because it is way too much work to film every shot. So, here are some random golf clips from this round. Just finish up the ninth hole. I uh, shot a seven over on the front nine, so a 42. It's par 35 front nine, but it's not the best. What'd you just get there? Not a lot of doubles. Double? Two, four, five, six, eight, 11, 13. 13 over, 48 in the front nine. It is hot out here, man. We are sweating bullets, but it's been fun still. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We're not the best golfers, but we 
We're just having fun, man. So here we go, heading to the back nine. Let's see if we can break 90 today, man. <laughs> well, the back nine hasn't gotten much better. We're still out here in the desert. Shooting that way. We're supposed to be in this stuff, but we're over here. <laughs> It's a good looking shot there. Okay, wasn't bad. That was Kale Flaw. Let's head over to my ball. Opposite side of the fairway. Looks like I missed the fairway as well. There I am. So, uh, yeah, we're not hitting fairways, but. Once again, we are in the desert, folks. He's got to go all the way up there somewhere. Godspeed, man. Yay! Oh, he topped it. Get back in the fairway. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough out here. We're on the second to last hole. We are zaps, man. I feel like we got barbecued today by the sun. It's 18 holes done. Woo, that was a fun 18. I am zapped though. I am so tired, so hot. Feel completely burnt out. Landed on a par, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over on the back as well. So at least I'm consistent. That gives me a score of 85. Par 71, golf course 85. We broke 90, but it's not the best score ever. But I'm also not the best golfer ever, so. Still had a good time though. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten over on the back of Kilb. So Kilb shot a 40, 94. Kilb shot a 94. 94 for young Kilb. 94. What do you have to say about that? That's pretty, uh... It's a lie. <laughs> Tough day for us, man. We didn't have our best game today. Definitely struggled. We did play from the blues, so it was a lot longer. But that's just golf, man. Some days you have it, some days you don't. Today was one of those days where we just sucked, so. But it was still fun nonetheless. Beautiful golf course. East of Washington, hot as crap. <laughs> Just so hot out here today. So we're gonna go get some electrolytes probably from the store. And then we're gonna head back toward Vantage. We might be camping at Vantage tonight. Um, at least that was the plan. But currently we are so zapped, so tired, so sweaty, that we don't know if we feel like sleeping in a tent tonight. So we might pull an audible and just send it home back to Seattle tonight, just make this a day trip. But uh, we'll discuss that and I'll let you guys know what we're doing. So, hold tight. Just not do it, man. We might just head home. I think we're heading back to Seattle because for a few reasons. One, the campsite at this place is incredibly overpriced. It's 50 bucks for one night to literally just have a piece of grass to lay a tent on. Three, reason number three, it's got super windy this evening. The wind picked up to like 30 mile an hour gusts. So that would mean that our tent would just be flapping all night long. And four, we'd have to get up super early anyways and head back to Seattle for church in the morning. So after all those reasons considered, Caleb and I just decided, you know what? Let's not even deal with it. Let's just head home. We'll, uh, we'll get up early and go for a run tomorrow morning somewhere around Seattle and then go to church after that. And we'll just save ourselves having to jam out of here early in the morning. So, so because of that, that will cut this adventure a little bit short. 
Um, but there will be more to come. So that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys in the next one.